I was contacted by Nikki, who works for a company in China that makes pens and EDC stuff out of titanium. And Nikki said, do you want to review our new pen? And I said, why not? So here we are, and their new pen is called the Razor. Didn't work. Um, and I'll be fair, I really like it. I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, I have reviewed one or two titanium pens, the Enzo Puma comes to mind. And although I like titanium, I don't dislike titanium, but I don't have a, a specific feeling about titanium, but I really like this pen. I, I, it's odd, it immediately struck the right chord with me. So we're going to have a look at it. Nice pen, number six Bach nib. That's kind of cool, not a smallish nib. It's a nice large nib, even has a glass breaker on it. Um, a lot going for it. So let's cover the parts of the pen, do a writing sample, and then I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. All right, so here we go with the Razor. Came in this box, Titana. I assume it is Titana, um, German. There is um, some Asian calligraphy here and I don't know what it says. I'm sorry. Uh, the box is simple. now. The company that sent me this said maybe not show the interior of the box because there's going to be a foam insert and they didn't have those finished yet so it's 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 early production um, but I'm sure we can all imagine what a foam insert looks like right so nice sliding uh, simple cardboard box I kind of like it simple packaging those ribs are fun um, has a QR code which is kind of neat uh, also has the website. Uh, so I, I I like this very simple box, but it works well. Another thing that came with it is a little polishing cloth, which I think is a, is a, a neat addition. But what we really want to see is the pen. Well, let's start by showing it right next to Alami Safari. It's about the same length, but maybe a little little thinner. Um, not a whole lot though. It's mainly at the ends because I think at the barrel it's actually a bit wider. So, nice but more cigar shaped than the uh, Safari is. Okay, let's cover the parts of the pen. Top of the pen, um, I don't know how well you can see that in the light, but there is a, oh, there you go. There's sort of a, a circle on there, uh, which I think is, is nice. It, it, it's just a nice touch. There's also a gentle indentation and that circle is actually recessed a little bit which I think is a it's nice it just gives the pen a very polished look very very uh, nice eye for detail now we have this clip which has a, a letter D on there and I'm not entirely sure what the D stands for because the brand is Titana the pen is called the razor but there may be a reason for that it eludes me clip tapers down and is rather nice because as you can see it actually has a slightly triangular shape and has two facets here so as clips go I think this is rather nice. Um, good shape too, very stiff but because of that little ski slope I do think it, it works pretty adequately, I, I found it to work adequately. Pen, wider in the middle, tapers down, tapers down into a rather fierce point which is the tungsten carbide glass breaker tungsten carbide yes tungsten carbide uh, glass breaker which is definitely sharp I don't think it's sharp enough to cut yourself on but Aziza unscrewed this pen didn't know that was there and basically drilled it into her skin so be a little careful we unscrew the cap then we have the section the section is fairly thin um, but to me, this looks like a pretty decent balance. I don't think this, this step down is, is too large, uh, but there is a bit of a step down. Section, tapers down, flares out a little bit, and all of this is titanium. Except for the nib. The nib is a number six Bock nib, fine, and not titanium. Interesting choice. Now, I assume the choice is because 
This tie these steel nibs have sort of a, a chrome color, right? Shiny metal, and so does the rest of the pen. Whereas most of the titanium nibs I've used, actually all of the titanium nibs I've used have a dull gray uh, color, more like this. And that may not look very good on the, the whole pen. I don't mind so much because I find this nib very pleasant and I prefer a steel nib to a titanium nib except for very, very small number of exceptions. I find the titanium nib's a bit too soft, you see. The barrel unscrewed, and then you have a cartridge converter, uh, which is actually labeled Titana, again, made in Germany. There you have it. Quite a couple of threads for the barrel, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The cap screws on fairly easily. Let's see how many turns that takes, because I often get that question. So that's one, about one and three quarters. And there you have it. Pretty nice, and it feels very solid. Now, what we need to do is see the pen in action. So, grab a sheet of paper, and here we go. Once a uh, startup issue there. Uh, Titana, what was it called? The Razor. Fine steel nib. The ink is the extremely dark Aurora Black. Beautiful ink. Okay. Don't forget the camera microphone always makes nibs sound very feedbacky. Uh, what I can honestly say is it's actually a really pleasant nib. It's smooth. It flows very well. Uh, I haven't had a lot of skipping with it, uh, so it, it's it's really quite nice. I, uh, I I rather like it. Pretty good. As to wetness, startup issue there. It is smooth rhodia paper. On um, a slightly more textured paper, I, I haven't had any issues, but could be maybe a little better. Okay, so not a gusher, but it's it's very properly tuned. Line variation is always very careful. Not a whole lot there. And the final question is one of reverse writing. And as you can see, that works well, taking the nib from a fine to an extra fine. And at some point, I'm sure it will run dry. Definitely becomes a bit drier, but it's not particularly sharp, so you can actually use this pen for that. Okay. End of the writing sample. Let's see what I like about it and what I not like about it. What do I like and what do I not like about the Titana Razor. I have to admit, I unboxed it and I immediately really liked it. It appealed to me, it struck me, it struck the right chord with me. I, I like it. I like <clears throat> the package, even though I have not seen the, the foam inside of the box, I'm sure it will be fine. <clears throat> Simple box, polishing cloth is a nice touch. Um, sorry, time for a sip. Sorry about that. Um, a lot of things going for it. Titanium is quite heavy, I found. I know it's a relatively light material, but I mean, for a pen, it, it, it can get quite heavy. I've used pretty heavy titanium pens in the past, and I think they've struck the right balance here. It's not a super thick, girthy pen, but that makes it very wieldable. Um, the section is thin, but I find it pretty comfortable because it's rather long, so I have enough to hold on to it. I don't find it particularly slippery. It's not a mirror polish or anything, so th there is something to hold on to. I like that. It's a company that does EDC stuff. They do titanium grappling hooks and little pill containers, that kind of stuff. Um, but what I like is that this pen does not have a very aggressive look. 
There are tactical pens. I'm thinking, for example, the Schrade uh, tactical pen. Uh, there is the, the Uzi uh, ballpoint tactical pens. They have a very aggressive look. And that is cool, and it's nice, and it's it's fun, and I've I've I like the Schrade uh, tactical pen. It's, it's it's nice. But if you pull that out, there's a, a certain aggressive look to it. I don't think anyone will really take offense to this pen because it just looks like a metal cylinder, and yet it has a glass breaker, uh, which is uh, uh, definitely interesting. I would say. Final thing I wanted to say was number six nib. That's nice. I've seen a lot of these pens with number five type nibs. It's nice that it's a bigger nib. Now, as I'm talking about the nib, it would be nice if in the future we could get nibs uh, from this company that are not just unrebranded Bok nibs. I think the, uh, let me see if I have a clear, well, the clearest picture I have is on this cloth. This Titana logo, that red logo is actually quite cool, that T, so it would be great if you could put that on the nib, even if it's just a laser engraving, I think it would add something because this is very clearly an unbranded Bok uh, stock nib. But as I said, it writes very pleasantly. It's a fine nib. Usually I'm not really a user of fine nibs, but it's nice. That's another issue. As I understand it, the pen is only available with fine nibs. It would be very nice to have a broader range, say at least medium and broad. You don't even have to offer broad, but at least offer medium for those of us who don't really like a fine nib. I think that would be popular. Um, the final thing I wanted to say was this glass breaker. For a regular pen, I think that looks maybe a little bit out of place, but as I said, this is a company that makes EDC type stuff, so everyday carry type stuff, and then the glass breaker kind of makes sense because it's what they do, right? Um, it's also not very obstructive, it doesn't look terrifying, but as I said, it is sharp. The first thing Aziza did was kind of, uh, she was holding the pen and unscrewing it, and then she rotated it, and that glass breaker kind of dug into her skin. Uh, it wasn't a cut, but it was very sharp and it was unexpected, so that startled her a bit. So you have to be a little aware of that. Um, I wasn't really bothered by it, um, and as I said, I don't think it is sharp enough to be obstructive. In fact, I think this sort of end cone pyramid thing looks kind of neat. So, I like it, but if you're looking for a very classy, just a simple metal pen, and you don't really care about a glass break, it could look a little out of place. But I think it's not obstructive enough to, to look out of place, because there isn't much to look at. It's just a little sort of conical shape. The price I heard for this pen was 149 US dollars. Maybe a little high, right? For an unbranded steel bock nib, cartridge converter. Yes, there's a glass breaker, but okay, it's titanium, it's cool. Maybe a little high, um, but what I will say is if all of them write like this, it is a very, very comfortable and pleasant writer. So I was not really bothered by the price. I've seen pens at that price are higher that barely wrote. This pen wrote straight away every time. Another thing I appreciated was, because it's EDC, I just put it in my, the, by the pocket of my trousers, aka pants, uh, and there was no ink spillage on the section. Now, that's not a guarantee that won't happen to you, but I walked around quite a bit that day and I didn't really have an issue. So in that regard, pretty cool. The only issue with that is the clip is very stiff, so putting it in your pants pocket will destroy the, the rim of your pants, for sure. So I just didn't. I just put it in my pocket. Okay, bottom line, cool pen. Titanium, big nib, writes well, glass breaker. Kind of neat, so I like it. A very kind thank you to Nikki for sending me this pen. I really appreciate it. I hope this was useful, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.